Hi viewers, how are you today? We are here once again to thrill you with some of our exciting um, uh, actions. And today, particularly, we want to deal with grips or grabs, let me put it that way, grab from the neck and how you can escape, free yourself from the different ways, the different ways from free yourself from such grabs. Uh, let me remind us again. Please, if you're watching us for the very first time, I would always like to tell you to do not hesitate to subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get your comments. So let's get to action. Enjoy it. Okay, this is how the, uh, the grab goes. Uh, grabs. Now, uh, you, need to, you need to check the position of the graph for you to actually know exactly what to do at the point. Okay? Now, if he grabs like this, facing here, now uh, the action will be different. Now, what I'm trying to say in essence is that the grab, the posture, the position of grab determines the kind of uh, counter you're going to use to escape from it. Okay, now, but let's take the the counter we already have in mind to do will not agree with this graph so now turn the graph turn your hand like this good then we'll go back to the other one to show you what will agree with that now this one this is how it goes i go here lock the hand in and it does not end there i go here to the neck lock down locked down now i'm locking both ways the neck my elbow is on the throat and here i'm locking equally i can extend extend okay okay we'll take that again locks on all right now i send my hand in I do as if I want to turn and return. That is how you the first the procedure goes. I'm here, it grabs, I pretend as if I want to turn and I return with this. Now while I return with this, I go here. My elbow is there. And I press him down. I can extend it. Okay. From that position, he's totally helpless. But if he tries anything, this is where my elbow is. Right at the throat there. So he cannot do he tries anything. I trust it down. Of course, you should understand what that means. All right. So now, let's see from the other side. From it. Now, grab again. All right. Now, this, this kind of grab now will not agree with the initial uh, escape uh, 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 way we, we, we applied. Now this one is going to agree with a different form. Now the other one went like this turn and we went this way. Now this one is facing like this. Okay now, what this is, I would say, I don't know if I should say this one is most delicate. Why? Because the effect of this one will go straight to the elbow and the wrist. Which of course, if you go with full force, you can dislocate the elbow instantly. You turn and strike there instantly as a shock dislocates the elbow. So, but we are going to be very careful because we know the danger. So now, how to take this? I turn in as if just like the I did in the first one. I turn in as if I want to I, I want to turn away and then turn like that. I lock. Good. Ah. Uh. He has nothing more to do than to find a way or to try to uh, surrender. Because if he doesn't, the more I hook this. The more is in trouble. 
he's helpless. The more I hold this, the more he's in trouble. Because the wrist, the elbow, and even the shoulder is also affected. Okay. All right. Let's take another form. I'll grab again. All right, this one goes this way. First of all, hold your hand if nothing is happening. Then bring your elbow, strike here down to bend him, and then lock here. While you lock here, you lock the wrist at the same time. Now this lock here goes with a dangerous grasp, with which holds here, the shoulder here, and the neck all together and then twist here and now from here you can lock him different ways you extend the lock I pull myself out I take this I go here I go here I can go here ah. I can go here ah. Let's see that again. Hold. Put my hand here. I go here. One, two. See if I'm pulling out. And I'm pull, I'm the, the motion goes with the hand. There. We turn here. Now pull, pull out. There. The lock, the wrist is still locked. The elbow and then the shoulder. All right, now this other one we are going to take. You have to be very, 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 very careful because it's very delicate. Draft. Otherwise, you do not want or you want your opponent to lose harm to the shoulder. For this one, it goes here, I strike here in, and I turn the lock. There. So here, helpless. And go here. We take that again. He grabs. And I'm here. I turn in. Turn in with one. In. At this turning one to bend him because his hand is straight and I need to bend him closer so I need this palm and to weaken also to help to weaken his hand a bit for me for it to be comfortable or convenient enough for me to step in and turn I need to strike him strike him then I go down and I can do this even here in the sound Okay, it's very dangerous. It affects the shoulder, the wrist, the elbow. All can go at the same time. All right. Now let's take another one. All right. Now he grabs. This time, I can choose to do this. I strike directly on the arm. It might not be quite. Uh, on the uh, on on the elbow, the middle, the in the inside of the elbow from here, it might not be quite there, but somewhere around close to that spot is still okay. As far as the elbow strikes the muscle there, there's going to be a weakening of that arm. Palm here, and it sinks down, and you push further and strike. Okay, or better still. Can decide to do it this way and bring him more closer by striking down here now he gets more closer and you strike here strike there okay this one goes this way after the grab, what next? Take your hand to his wrist. Pull yourself back in full. 
lock from here you already lock it then the elbow turn it you lock it pull yourself out and you maintain one hand lock now from here you can take this and shock here why i free him is to help him if i wanted to make him feel or ensure to dislocate him totally i will not bring the hand after the shock he goes down i still hold the hand he will fall against his wrist and the shoulder he's going to fall like this and that will affect that will dislo automatically dislocate the shoulder and the wrist so that was why i left him okay now let's Go. We show, do it again to uh, at least to simplify it or for more clarification. I go here, this is how if you do like this, you can still do like this and succeed. Yes, but if you need to do a different way. But this one, we are doing just this other way. You go this way, we need to understand which way you go. Go here. Out. and you lock it and then pop it okay all right okay all right let's see another way wrap now uh, this one is most very most likely very simple all you do is you turn your body alongside with the hand okay now let's press down the down to that have a good view. right now from here this is where the hand is right on the wrist you lock from there you lock from there and then turn see you lock from there and turn okay that was, that's what happens now if you want to apply anything more you can apply that there Very simple, just turn your way. Are we there? Turn your way. One with a hand. There. I will go to a better view here. And you start the lock from here before you turn your body. The lock goes from here already. And then you go. Like I said, if you want to apply anything, you can apply that while still on the lock. Okay, now let's go to at least the last but not the least for today. Let's not give you everything today that I have subsequent days to get more. Okay, now grab again. Now uh, this time is another most, one of the most dangerous tool if you do not apply it with caution. Seems simple, but dangerous. Now you can as well go without any support. You can turn yourself in, sink down, strike from below the elbow, right at the point of the elbow. Strike and lift up. Or by the time you do this, you will help him because if he feels the pressure, the, pre the, pre the shock there, he will automatically free the hand. And by freeing the hand, he's free. The lock is no more there. Okay? Now let's face here so that we can get a better view. Now grab. Okay? Now he grabs. Like I said, if you want to be. If, if you if you allow him this way without supporting and you just turn him strike from the under straight to the elbow strike there he will free the hand and the moment he gets the shock he frees the hand and once the hand goes off uh, your 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 plan is no more working all right now but for you to actually make your plan work perfectly you go this way wrap right. Now, as you turn in, you turn in with a support so that he will not have the chance to free the hand. 
he will wish to free the hand but you you keep him firm there and you go with that strike oh. like i said looks simple but it's one of the most devastating because it goes it stands the shock directly you can lose your arm with this seriously a strike a serious strike with this hook here palm there dislocates this elbow and also affects the shoulder at the same time okay all right so i like i said the last but not the least so we're going to pause here for today uh, our first timers oh sorry if you're watching us for the very first time let me put it that way i want to remind you please subscribe hit the bell so that you can have since we upload our videos almost on daily basis so so that you can can have a view of them as they drop well thank you our esteemed already subscribers we are still saying thank you thumbs up